Check it out! There's a new case on the ticker type. Let's grab it and get started. Alright, so before we continue on to the next one, as always, gonna go to the top, to the bedroom, and use the radio three times. He's gonna be on vacation for a while while he visits his boy Cinnamon Bun in the Fire Kingdom. Meanwhile, enjoy the best of the starching experience. Hidden cameras in the Fire Kingdom. We think PB was after some ancient technology that created zombies and that unpleasant yellow fella lemon grab and who knows what else pb is messing with forces she just be on vacation for a while while he visits okay. his boy cinnamon bun in the fire kingdom meanwhile enjoy the best of the starchy conspiracy so now we just go use the ticker type and let's get this episode started this case i mean here's another one blame princess steam this fire kingdom is doused Flame Princess is in trouble, Jake. I gotta help her. Um, I mean, uh, we should investigate. Alright. So this is case number four. Everything must go. Dude, these flame guards look really mad. What's up with that? I don't know, man. But we better fight now and ask questions later. What the flip? We heard something was wrong and came to help, but those dogs jumped us. Oh, yeah, sorry about that. The flame guards are really on edge. Everybody is. Something is putting out fires all over the kingdom. Yeah, I thought it felt a little cooler in here. Kind of foggy, too. Yes, that's the problem. It's like somebody's pouring massive amounts of water on our fires. The steam is already filling the fire kingdom. If whatever it is doesn't stop, the fog will spread all over Ooh. What's the big deal? Everybody likes a good sauna. You don't understand. If the Fire Kingdom core is affected, there will be so much steam covering Ooh that it'll completely block out the sun. There will also be record oh, rainfall. Damn. Everything will be completely flooded. Don't worry, Flame Princess. Whoa. Finn and Jake Investigations is on the case. We'll find out what's got you steamed. Thanks, guys. Even though the kingdom has cooled down a lot, things will get hotter as you get close to the core. You should find Flambeau and get him to cast a flame shield spell on you, just to be safe. Good thinking. Thanks, princess! Alright. Even with the Fire Kingdom cooling off, she still looks hot. You guys hmm. need to hurry. The Fire Kingdom is getting steamier by the minute. That means two things. <laughs> It's a fire wolf pup. He looks hungry and fiery. Cinnamon Bun is here, as usual. Hi, Finn. Hi, Jake. Boy, am I glad you're here to help us. 
We're investigators and adventurers, man. It's what we do. Let's see what's going on. When did you notice something was wrong? Why aren't you helping to fix this? And where's so, Flambo? You have any idea what's going on around here? Nothing but what Flame Princess told you. It's getting all steamy and it's making people mad. And it's making the firewolves really bitey. <laughs> When did you guys first notice that the fires were going out? Hmm, let's see. I got a call from Starchy this morning. He's coming to visit. Starchy's my friend, and we don't get to talk much since I started spending so much time here, so... Cinnamon bun, you're kind of getting off topic, dude. Oh, sorry. I've been told I lack focus. Anyway, it was only a few hours after Starchy called that all the steam and stuff started. So how come you're just hanging around here instead of helping to fix this? My place is at Flame Princess's side. I have to protect her. Not that somebody else couldn't do it better. Ben? Hmm? Do you know where Flambo is? We need him to put a flame shield spell on us. I don't know. Last time I saw him, he was headed toward the furnace room, deep in the underbelly of the kingdom. Thanks for your help, CB. Hang in there, we'll figure this out. Thanks, Finn and Jake. I'll just stay here and keep Flame Princess safe. Yeah, I bet you will. Finn, get over it already! <laughs> uh... This crisis has really gotten a flame guard steam. <laughs> See what I did there? I'm not supposed to let anyone into the kitchen until the crisis or my shift is over. Whichever comes first. Whoa, I heard that's Fire Kingdom hot sauce. It's even more spice than the stuff PB makes. Fire Kingdom hot sauce is dangerous to eat for non-fire people. In fact, be careful even carrying it. Okay. Let's go downstairs. And to the right. Pretty standard door. Everybody's got them. We're now in the prison. Pretty safe to say nobody's gonna break through that door. No point in letting me out until you guys like that furnace. Nah, I don't think so. Hey, there's Flambo. Wonder why he's in a jail cell. Holy Flambo, crap. man, are we glad to see you? Hey, Finn, Jake, I ain't unhappy to see you too. Why are you in jail? We need a flame shield spell. Who locked you in there? And any Dude, idea what's going on? Why are you in jail? Are you responsible for what's happening? No way! I didn't do nothing. I'm in here because I wouldn't share the last of my charcoal. Is all. Dude, we have to get into the Fire Kingdom core. We need you to do that flame shield thing on us like you did that one time before. Oh no, can go, Jake. That takes a lot of heat and power, and my body temperature is way low. Eh, I could help you out, but only if you can get it a little warmer and gets me out of this cell. Who locked you in there? The flame guards. I wouldn't share my charcoal with them on account of I ain't got much left. They got mad and locked me in here to rot. They hang out in the furnace room sometimes. Maybe you can find them there. Any idea what's causing the fires to go out? No, man. I heard somebody making crazy noises and some sound like water running a while ago. Maybe that has something to do with it. I don't know. So, if we find a way to heat things up and we get you out of there, you'll help us? Yeah, no sweat, so to speak. Flame shields all around, if you turn up the heat and spring me. All right, man, hang in there. Me and Finn will take care of everything. Yeah, okay. Not like I'm going anywhere. Maybe you should start by lighting the furnace. That'd probably be enough heat to get my spell juices flowing. All right. Let's grab what we can from here. Wait. Oh, yeah. Let's, uh, 
There's some stuff in Looks here. like leftover prison food. Liver and onions. Ugh. Who knows? Maybe I'll need some nasty food for something. Okay. Let's go back to the main area real quick. This must be the door that leads to the Fire Kingdom core. We gotta get in there. Now, right now. Oh, okay, he's gone. This is the kitchen, so this is where we gotta be. Ah, fire bones. This should really help calm the princess down. I just have to keep smelling it to make sure I get it exactly right. The nose never fails. Hear that, Jake? <laughs> if we could get the bone out of that soup, we could use it to get that little firewolf we saw to follow us. I bet he could help us light the furnace. I guess. It's not like that flame guard's gonna let us take his soup bone. We'll have to find a way to get him out of here. Maybe we can stink up the kitchen by donking with his recipe. Let's look around for ingredients. Alright. Yuck! That cabbage is nasty rotten! We had better be quiet so he doesn't know we're here. <laughs> oh yeah, totally not. He, he can't see us. It's a kitchen knife! Never know when you'll need a good kitchen knife. Clearly looking right at us. He called it fire bone soup. There's gotta be a bone in there somewhere. I can't just take the whole pot. The flame guard would notice. Bleh! My cabbage is mushy. Nasty cabbages chopped and ready to cook. Assuming you wanted to totally donk up your recipe, that is. So, nice yeah, cabbage. now I have some chopped rotten cabbage. Then the soup. This is gonna be great! <laughs> Leap and lava, that's rank! This soup smells like butt! Butt that sat in rotten cabbage! Hope I haven't screwed up the recipe. I'll just give it a stir and hope for the best. He uses his staff to stir it. Same staff he just walks around with and puts on the ground. That's disgusting. Hey, Jake, watch this! <laughs> what the magma? That doesn't smell right. It smells worse than prison food. Maybe it just needs to simmer some more. Soup's getting really smelly, dude. I'm thinking it just needs a little heat to finish it off. And now for the final ingredient? What the heck? I'll put it all in. You're using all of it? Careful, Finn. That stuff is crazy dangerous. You worry too much, Jake. Uh-oh. What the? Oh, no! Level 5 <laughs> Ultra Spice Breach in progress! Run away! Dude, what did I tell oh, you? Yeah. Relax, man. Nice. Left the room, didn't he? Mission accomplished. Mathematical. Awesome. Hey, I you're right. One. There was a large bone in the soup. Now that the soup and the guard are gone, we can totally snag that bone. Wow. We really did make a mess when we blew up that pot of soup. Don't touch it, man. It still looks really hot. Firebone soup must stay hot for a long time. Do they actually have running water in the Fire Kingdom? Yikes! That is not water! Holy crap. Okay, I think that's it. That little firewolf still looks hungry. All right, which means we can feed. Better the not him. touch him, dude. He looks hungry. Hey, little firewolf, you want this bone? <coughs> if you want it, you gotta follow me. All right. <coughs> I think that's gonna work, man. But follow us now. 
He really wants that bone. Nice. Come on, buddy. Alright, we gotta lead him to the furnace room, which is uh, past the prison. Do is throw the bone. Maybe the here. little firewolf could help us light it. Too bad we're not carrying matches or something. If only we could figure out something we could put in there to get that fire going again. Hey, little firewolf, you want the bone? Go get it. Good boy. That worked great. And there's no place a firewolf is happier than in a fire. Yup. It's getting warmer already. We've still got stuff to do. Let's get going. So I told Flambo, if you won't give us your coal so we can be all warm, you're going in the slammer. Nice. Maybe a few days of liver and onions will make him want to share with us. Hey, you got the key? Of course I do. I, hey, we've got company. That's right. And we're going to take that key and break our friend Flambo out of your rotten jail. Yeah, I'd like to see you try. Come on, we can take these guys. Right. Oh my god, they got a bear here. Oh no. Hey, whoa, whoa, relax here, bear. Could have saved us a lot of fighting if they had just given us the dungeon key in the first place. Yep, yep, yep. All right. Next up, take this key and free Flambo. I'm still locked up, but at least it's warmer now. Yep, Flambo's still locked up. Pretty safe to say nobody's gonna break through that door. Hi, Flambo. You're a free man. Um, fire guy. And nice and warm, too. You guys are the best. As promised, two flame shields coming up. There. You should be good to go inside the core now. Is the spitting part really necessary? Nah, that part's just for fun. Thanks for springing me, guys. I'm gonna <laughs> go hang out someplace warm till you fix his things. Uh, later. That's why I send him one in his blue. It's a fire shield spell. Got it. 